Producing over 500 hours per week of talk radio, GCN Live is a world leader in talk radio. Archives for the following program can be found at GCNlive.com. What is up, friends? Good morning, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben. Nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and to your well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on the Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 28 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body what is in the world of biology standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about prescription drugs, health, nutrition, if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here to help you. Let us help you change your life today. Give us a shout, 855-660-4261. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side, 855-660-4261. If you have questions about skin care, ingredients, formulations, the longevity products, if you want to clear up some kind of misunderstanding that you may have heard, on the news or in the lay press, we're here to help. 855-660-4261 is your number on the Bright Side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products that you hear advertised or recommended on the program, you can call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. 866-735-2470. If you want to join the team for a one-time $10 fee, they can help you do that. And if you want to be a business builder, if you have some M MLM experience or if you want to uh, if you want to learn it in the MLM business, and a lot of folks are making some good money in MLM, you can also uh, you can talk to the phone team about that as well, 866-735-2470, or you can click on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com. We have a shopping cart up there as well with all the longevity products, including my personal favorite, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Beyond Organic products are all up at brightsideben.com, and all of the start packs and kits are also up at brightsideben.com. If you're interested in joining me and Dixie Sedgwick on our weekly phone calls, we do uh, once a week phone calls, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time every Sunday. Sunday, we cover various subjects. Uh, last Sunday we talked about how to vet a good, uh, how to vet, that's what Dixie calls it, vetting a good nutritional supplement or a good vitamin, a good nutritional supplement program. Uh, we covered androgenic male pattern baldness the week before. We've covered diabetes, attention deficit disorder, or ALS, all kinds of good stuff. Uh, you can you can join us on our phone call, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, every Sunday, 605-562-3140 is the dial-in number, 605-562-3140, participant access code 444-973-POUND. If you want to check out our skincare videos, myself and Amanda Rideout Health Coach do skincare videos, and we cover some of the longevity products as well on these videos. These, they're YouTube videos, and we post them every Friday if you're interested in getting on the mailing list. To be notified of the posts, please send me an email, ben at ksco.com. Send an email to ben at ksco.com. K for King, S for Sam, C for Cat, O for Oscar. Put in the subject heading. Please uh, put me on the email list for the skincare videos. You don't have to write anything in the letter. Just put it in the subject heading, and we'll get you, we'll get you on the list. Okay. I want to talk a little bit about Ebola. I've been meaning to talk about this for the last few days. If you're following the news, it's hard to avoid hearing about Ebola, Ebola this, and Ebola epidemic, and this guy's got Ebola, and they got SWAT teams keeping people in their houses, and, and all the talking heads are spewing out craziness about Ebola. I keep hearing complaints about how the government is, how they're handling Ebola, how the government is handling Ebola, how the president is handling Ebola, the president slash king. Whenever I hear somebody talking about the president, I always think of the king. 
whatever you want to call him, the President King, how he's handling Ebola. Some judge lady on Fox says that the government is supposed to protect us from Ebola. MSNBC had an interview. Um, I saw it on, on, on MSNBC.com this morning. They had an interview with Senator Pryor from Arkansas, and they're trying to stump him, ask him, is he happy about how the president is handling the Ebola crisis? What is going on here? The president handles the Ebola crisis? The government handles the Ebola crisis? We don't need a government or a president or any other authority figure so-called to protect us from viruses. This is more infantilizing idiocy from a daddy government and a lapdog lay media press that treats us like we're children, like treats us like we're infants. Listen, we got an immune system and our government has nothing to do with it. Our government has nothing to do with our immune system. Our immune system is our divine birthright. It's our God-given protection from viruses, from pathogens, from bacteria. And what we need to be doing is supporting our immune system. What we need to be doing or not doing is eating the corporate sponsored crap, the corporate swill, the corporate KFC garbage. And also, at the same time, what we need to be doing is building our immune system by drinking good, clean water, thinking healthy thoughts and emotions, and making sure we're getting our mighty 90 essential nutrients, in addition to eating right. Making sure we're on the healthy start pack, making sure we're getting enough protein. You know what? Our immune system is built up of protein. How many of us are getting enough protein? How many of us are absorbing our protein correctly? What we need to be focusing on is our digestive system, not worrying about whether the government is protecting us. What we need to be focusing on is making sure we're getting our micronutrients, our zinc and our vitamin C. How interesting is it that your dog or your cat doesn't get Ebola? You ever think of that? Your pets don't get Ebola. Most animals don't get Ebola. Why would that be that animals don't suffer from Ebola? With the exception of primates and bats, fruit-eating bats. What is it about? What is it about primates, gorillas, human beings, bats, fruit-eating bats that, uh, that makes them susceptible to Ebola? But other animals, your dogs or your cats, they don't get Ebola. Why is it that only monkeys and primates and human beings and a, a, a rare species of bat gets Ebola? Well, let's see. What is it that makes these primates and, and these rare bats different from all the other animals that get Ebola? Oh, yeah. They make, all the other animals make their own vitamin C. We don't. And primates don't. And the unusual fruit-eating bat doesn't make its own vitamin C. How coincidental is it that the animals that don't make vitamin C suffer from Ebola and the animals that do make vitamin C don't get Ebola? Now, I'm not sitting here saying vitamin C is some kind of cure-all for Ebola or that it's an antidote for an Ebola infection, but I'm, prob I'm saying that it's, it's probably a good idea to use some vitamin C to get on some micronutrients that boost the immune system, to support the body's defensive capabilities against all manners of assault, all manners of assault, to build our immune system, to not eat the crap, the government-sponsored crap, by the way, same government that's wringing its hands about Ebola. Stop eating the crapola, and you won't get the Ebola. Get yourself on a, micro, a micronutrient program, a micronutrient supplement program like Dr. Wallach designed. Get yourself on the Healthy Start Pack, and you won't have to worry about viruses. And that includes shingles, by the way. And that includes the flu virus. That includes all viruses. It includes all attacks, uh, attacks on the immune system or attacks on the body. Hepatitis, flu, shingles, herpes, Ebola, whatever. Ebola, by the way, is a very weak virus. There's a reason why Ebola started in a third world primitive remote jungle type environment, i.e. the jungle villages of West Africa, Ebola can only thrive under conditions of really poor health care and really poor hygiene. Ebola is passed basically through body fluids. You have to contact blood or urine or some other fluid. You have to come into close contact with a dead body or with some Ebola sufferer. It's not contagious in the sense that you're going to breathe in Ebola. Yes, Ebola can live outside the body on doorknobs and handles for a few hours, which is obviously not a good thing, but that's not a reason to freak out or to let so-called authorities deprive us of our basic rights or to poke and prod into our bodies at will. We've got to keep things in perspective here. Ebola does give us a reason to maintain normal hygienic standards, to be clean. And it's a reason uh, e this Ebola crisis, this Ebola so-called epidemic, is a reason that every human being around the world, whether they're in Africa or Asia, the United States or anywhere else, needs to have their basic health care needs met. We're all on this planet together. 
as one homogeneous mask called humanity, and everything that affects somebody in Africa is going to ultimately affect us here. But there's lots of ways that we can take care of ourselves without government intervention when it comes to protecting us from Ebola or anything else. All right, we're back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Thank you for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central, and 24-7 on the archive page at brightsideben.com. Got three and a half years or more of archives. Good information that you can check out for free at Ben Fuc uh, uh, BrightsideBen.com. You can also head over to BenFuchsArchives.com and search anything via search engine. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up. I also want to encourage you to check out my blog, which we update regularly with news stories as well as blog posts, PharmacistBen.com. And let's see what else. Uh, ch -ch 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 Oh, if you're out there, if you're in Hot Springs, Arkansas, I'm going to be doing a talk, myself and Dr. Wallach. Uh, we're going to be doing a few talks. It's coming uh, starting this Thursday, Friday. This Thursday. That's Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Uh, myself, I think I'm going to be doing a talk on Thursday and Friday. Doc's going to be on a Saturday, and that's in Hot Springs, Arkansas. I will be helping my friend uh, Jonathan in Olean, New York, on May the, or I'm sorry, on October the 21st. That's two weeks from today. And then I'll be in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and the last week in October. It's all to support folks who are uh, building businesses, either uh, building longevity businesses. If you're interested in having me come out and support your longevity business, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. They can tell you all about it. And if you're in the Olean, New York area, Tulsa, Oklahoma area, or Hot Springs, Arkansas area, love to see you out uh, at one. I'd love to see you out there at... Uh, well, if you're in Hot Springs, love to see you in Hot Springs. Olean, love to see you there. And Tulsa, love to see you there as well. That's coming up this month. Okay, we're talking about Ebola a little bit. There's a poll uh, I'm reading on this on thehill.com. Uh, poll, majority believe U.S. government can stop major Ebola outbreak. The government is going to stop the Ebola outbreak. No, the government's not going to stop the Ebola outbreak. The government has nothing to, should have nothing to do with our health. How did, they, how did the government get involved with our health? Where, what is it the government's role to take care of our health? Why is it the government's role to build our immune system? Where, where is this the government? Government needs to mind its own business. I don't even know what the government's supposed to do. We're supposed to behave ourselves, and we won't, we won't even need a government. We need a divine government, a, a holy government, a sacred government, not an Obama government, a president government. Get yourself on vitamin C for one. Everybody needs to be using a gram of vitamin C a day at least. Don't pay any attention to any nonsense about somebody saying that people telling you that ascorbic acid is not vitamin C. Just Google it. Do your own research. Google ascorbic acid or go to scholar.google and Google ascorbic acid antiviral, ascorbic acid immune system, ascorbic acid fights cancer. Get on zinc also. We've been talking about zinc now. Zinc is the most powerful immune-boosting mineral there is, most powerful immune-boosting antiviral nutrient there is. Certainly selenium is uh, also very important, but nothing beats zinc. We've been talking about zinc the last few Bright Side episodes for skin, uh, for skin health. We've been talking about it for acne, for psoriasis. Zinc is important for helping support prostaglandins. Zinc is important for healing the skin if you've got acne lesions, acne blemishes. As far as acne blemishes go, zinc has to be considered, along with vitamin A, as the most important nutrient for keeping your skin zit-free. Zinc works on eliminating acne by several mechanisms. It's a major player in the healthy metabolism of testosterone, male hormone testosterone, which is a big, big problem when it comes to acne. Testosterone, or its breakdown product, which is known as DHT, it's really a, 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 one of the most important culprits when it comes to the formation of blemishes. Testosterone gets broken down into DHT, and DHT is not only the, the culprit in, in, uh, when it comes to blemishes, when it comes to acne, but it's also a major culprit when it comes to male prostate disease or prostate disease and also um, male pattern baldness. Using zinc can help stabilize testosterone breakdown. It can help men and women maintain healthy testosterone levels. And that'll improve acne, that'll improve baldness, and for men that will improve prostate issues as well. Zinc supplementation can be helpful for sexual problems, for libido issues, for uh, erectile dysfunction. Remember now, zinc is a very, uh, is a, uh, one of the more prominent nutritional deficiencies is zinc deficiency. 
So if you got erectile dysfunction, you're a guy with having libido issues or erectile dysfunction issues or prostate issues, guess what, guys? There's a good chance you're deficient in zinc unless you're supplementing with it. In fact, unless you're supplementing with zinc, you can pretty much rest assured you're deficient in it. Zinc deficiency is one of the most common mineral deficiencies in the world, largely because of zinc depletion of soils. 